think we're live. We're live? Yep, we live? we're okay. live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Bordeaux Kitchen every day, live. This is a test. We're trying to see if um, a live video is going to work. Um, and I have my lovely assistant, Julia, the child, here. Thank you, Julia. And I don't know what I'm doing in terms of the technology, but what I wanted to do was show you how to tie a pork roast, because um, I do know how to do that. Uh, the technology is a little tough, but I'll try to not be so slow and boring. Um, and I'm just going to transition to the tabletop. Um, and I'm sorry I can't see comments yet. I haven't figured out. And if someone knows how to do this, please send me an email or a personal message or direct message. To how to sync a you know little iPad or something else to the so I can see comments because I don't know and I want to welcome you here. Thank you for watching. Uh, Okay, so now we're going to just turn this and go down um, and swivel. Sorry, that's totally annoying. Oh my gosh, I'm having technical difficulties already, guys. Oh boy, this is what What's happens wrong? with... Well, I have to turn the camera this way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you go. All right. You're fine. Yeah, okay, so here's my book. Bordeaux mm -hmm. Kitchen, and today we are going to be doing how to tie the roast. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm going to show you this so you get a, a roast that's kind of, kind of looks, well, still raw, but like that. Okay. So here we have the roast. Yeah, very nice. And um, let's see. Actually, so I learned in the butcher shop, um, you know, before you use your knife, you want to hone it or sharpen it. This is honing. This is a honing rod. Um, and so here's my knife. And I'm just going to kind of um, slide down the rod um, and pressing down. And you can do the tip a little bit too. And why am I doing this? I'm actually just going to use this knife uh, uh, instead of scissors because butchers and wannabe butchers like me only use knives when they're using this string here to tie a roast. Okay. Mm. Are you finding me on there, Julia? No, no. I, I'm okay. not. It's really weird. Okay. Well, I have one, one fan watching. Cool. Okay, so anyway, so what you do is you want to wrap the string around like this, kind of under the roast. Give yourself a little leeway here and make a make a little loop there. Oh, actually I did it wrong. It's not that way. See, I have to practice this. Okay, first you go all the way around. And we'll just make a little thing there. Then you go under your roast. Bing, bing, bing. And then we're going to make a little little knot. If I can get down to this guy here, if you can see me. Down to the, just make a little knot in there. I hope you all can hear me. Oh, I have five people watching. Can you tell? Really? Yeah, can you tell that? Um, on your, on that thing? No, no, it doesn't show anything about the log. Well, maybe we have to log in as somebody else. Anyway, please someone help me if they know. If you know, just let me know. Okay, so here we go. We want to cut close to the knot. Ding. Uh, so I've got an extra paper towel here and stuff. Okay, great. So then you want to, we've done the, you know, we've done the roast top and bottom, kind of uh, around the side and around the top. So now you want to find the midpoint of your roast. And so watch what I'm doing here. I'm going around like this. And then again, and, oops. Okay, well that didn't work that great, but this is, you know, totally unrehearsed. Um, we're all in our confinement best, right? No glamor, just good food. So there we go, we've got 
one so we tie it in the middle so you want to be symmetrical and make it look pretty right to the butcher wants to sell his pork roast or her pork roast so she he and she he or she tries to make it look good so now we want to put strings in the middle of each like that and a, a real butcher would have finished this already <laughs> i'm the one who takes a while so you just make your little knot and because i'm left-handed and make funny knots oh my goodness i um it probably looks funny and you might make your knot differently um and my basque butcher florent who taught me how to do this he said you know you have to tie knots that are strong enough so that when the butcher your 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 the master um is testing the apprentice um and he he'll drop the he'll drop the roast from a meter high above the cutting board onto the cutting board and you're good if none of the strings break but if they do you have to redo the roast okay so that's not very symmetrical but anyway did one there one there okay so one more or two more rather we could do or actually four more one two three four you could stop here um, but since we've gone through all this heartache and trouble of trying to post this live, oh my goodness, oh my god, so that's where you... It's okay, Mama. <laughs> oh, now I'm, yeah, totally fumbling. It's okay. As an actor, I tell you that you just take a deep breath. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that? Oh, it's not working. It's okay. Okay, we'll just, we'll just uh, try that again. So actually, what I might do is How many viewers at this point... Oh, five. Well, thanks for hanging on, guys. I wish I could see comments. Are there comments? Oh, there is a comment. Kristen, I see you. <laughs> I just can't see under the... Can you shift the camera that way a little bit without touching the buttons? No, no. I mean, in its clamp. Then I can see, you know, so I can see more of that part. Oh my goodness. You mean, mm. oh, you okay. mean like this, sorry. Well, yeah, here. We may have to just cut the chain because it's really hard and my hands are cold and all that. When you're working in a butcher shop, your hands are always cold and I'm not even in a butcher shop right now so one thing you can do too see there so then I would put another one here and another one there um, there's somebody named Sebastian oh I wish I could see I can't see oh wait so we're gonna just keep going down the line again a real butcher and you got to give yourself more string here a real butcher would have done this already. And sometimes you can go through twice like that, which will make a, 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 a knot that's a little better holding that won't break when, you're, when your butcher master drops it and to test your, your knots. It's a little more substantial. Okay, so we have two more. And my goodness, will I get there? Yes. Thank you, Julia. Stay positive. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. And I'm embarrassed about my fingernails. But, you know, when you do gardening and all that stuff, it just happens. Okay. So, one more. And something that I didn't show was before you, you know, after you've put this this first string on and before you do all of these you can lay a nice rosemary sprig on top and tie that into it so maybe i'll do that another time but i have that in my book uh where i photographed roasts like that okay so there we are bing 
You have six viewers. Oh, yay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we're going to try to save this. Oh, sorry. This has been in the way the whole time. Okay, so that is the, that's the rose. Not as pretty on the bottom, but so what you want to do is, um, you know, preheat your oven to, um, what is it, about uh, 365. And um, let me see if we can, Julia, will you put this? Let's see. So that we can see. Right here. Wait here, can let me adjust me? it. Okay. So put your um, your oven at 365 and um, preheat it and then put it put it in the oven for, you know, well this is a two and a half pound um, roast. So I'd put it in for probably at least 45 minutes, but you may need longer. Often with my um, oven here, for whatever reason, it's a gas oven. Um, on the convection, I put it, I set it even higher and it goes for an hour and 15 minutes. So you'll have to see what you, um, what's best for you. But anyway, also what I do is I sprinkle it um, with uh, coarse sea salt and herbs, chopped herbs, and um, pour a little bit of olive oil on top just for flavor. And you can throw in some potatoes. Um, as well that you've chopped into kind of small, small-ish pieces, and uh, and then you've, you've got dinner right there. Um, so I hope you're all doing well. Um, stay, stay well. Um, I guess we're confined, all of us around the world, for a little bit longer, but thanks for watching, and sorry I'm kind of slow and boring. But anyway, hope you learned something, and we'll try this again. Thanks for watching the test. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Oh, I think you have to press the stop button.